Right now, the capital of Laos, Vientiane, is experiencing a construction boom. After being here for over a year, we have seen so many changes happening. From the very first expressway in the country being built, to the first railways and the city's first skyscrapers. There's a crazy amount of new construction happening at a very fast rate. In this video, we will take you to the 5 newest developments here in the Indian city and have a closer look at how rapidly the city is growing. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay guys, just behind us we've got the largest and the most expensive development in Lao history, the Chinese Lao Electric Railway. Yes, and this is going to stretch all the way from China through the north of Laos to Vientiane where we are right now. It's going to be 400 kilometers long and it's going to reach speeds of up to 160 kilometers an hour. This whole project is actually part of China's Belt and Road Initiative and a larger railway project that will expand across all of Southeast Asia. The central route is planned to reach as far as Singapore, which is pretty crazy. The good thing about this development is that it's going to be affordable for everybody. It's going to be much cheaper than airplane. There's not only positives, but there's also negative sides of the railway. The negative side is obviously the environmental impact. We all know that Laos is pretty much surrounded by the jungle and the railway is going literally across the entire jungle. But the positive side of it is that the transportation of products between neighboring countries and Laos will be made a lot easier. Hopefully it will boost Laos's economy and it will go from a landlocked country to a land-linked country. This is only one of the three stations in Vientiane that we are at right now and I think that the project is supposed to be finished in November so the opening of the railway across the whole of Laos is scheduled for Laos National Day on the 2nd of December. So put it in your calendar because it's going to be a big deal for everyone in Laos. Oh yeah, I think. yeah. Uh, I mean, you're going to see a lot of tourism probably coming from China yeah. as well. A lot of things are going to change as soon as this railway is open in Laos. So we are the second development now, Lat Savon Plaza. You probably cannot miss this if you live somewhere in the northern part of Vientiane city because this is the tallest building in the whole capital, well, in the whole country and you can pretty much see it from far away. So this is a Chinese development. It's made up of three big skyscrapers. The tallest one is 138 meters tall and it's actually a five-star hotel. The other two are residential towers and there's also a shopping mall and offices on this complex. There's actually some pictures up right now of what it is supposed to look like when it's finished but it seems like no construction is happening here right now. We're yeah. not really sure what's going on. Looks like a lot of money has been invested into this project, which is supposed to open up in 2014, but it's 2021, so seven years later, and it's still not finished. So we are assuming that this construction is simply abandoned. Yeah, if you guys know any more information about this one, please let us know, because I couldn't find anything online about it and why they stopped. Just before we head to the next development location here in Laos, we would like to quickly speak about our sponsor for this video, which is Skillshare. If you haven't heard of Skillshare before, it's basically an online learning community with thousands of classes covering different topics from like photography and graphic design to web development and even marketing. If it's something creative, it's probably gonna be on there. Another thing I like about Skillshare is that it's focused fully on learning, so you're not gonna see any ads. You can literally download as many episodes as you want and learn it from anywhere you like. Since our YouTube channel is growing and we do want to take it to the next level, one class that we found really helpful for this is Productivity for Creatives. Build a system that brings out your best by Thomas Frank. In this class, he talks all about really simple ways you can develop better habits to be more productive. And he talks about things in this class which you wouldn't actually give a second thought to, but they're actually really crucial for managing your time and work well so you can optimize your creative output. And for us, that is making videos for you guys. And the class that we would definitely recommend you guys, and we wish we know this before we started our own YouTube channel, is Video Editing with Final Cut Pro from Beginner to YouTuber by Ali Abdal. If you're wanting to start your own YouTube channel, but you don't know much about editing so instead of like spending a year or longer learning all these skills you can simply learn in three hours with all the tricks and tips that you learn in this class you'll be making quality videos in no time for september skillshare actually have a special promotion where the first 1000 of you guys sign up via the link in the description will get a one month free trial which i think is a pretty good deal you're gonna be able to explore your creativity learn something new 
and it's gonna be free so it's a win-win situation so now we're at the third development location and we're in Vientiane Life Center which is in the very city center right next to the parks and small this is a project funded by a Chinese company which is a high-end condo project they're going to build over 700 luxury apartments across 22 floors there's also going to be a shopping mall on the ground floor and a multi-story garage so it's a pretty big project another shopping mall as well there's a lot of these popping up everywhere lately i know right so we walked inside the building and we took some shots of the model and this is what it's gonna look like once it's finished it looks pretty impressive i'm pretty excited to see this when it is finished so we're expecting this to open up at the end of this year so now we are at development number four which is right next to the vientian life center and it's going to be a mixed use project development it's going to involve residential towers, office spaces, conference centers, medical centers and a retail mall as well as a signature building that's going to be the tallest in Vientiane at 150 meters. So that's quite a lot but for now all it seems they've developed is the retail mall which is called Naga Mall but you guys probably know it as Parkson's right behind me right now and the rest of the development doesn't seem to have happened yet when you put in the world trade center on maps it does come up but when you actually go over there there is just ground there is nothing there so i'm not sure what's going on there i don't think they've started building it yet but hopefully the tallest building in vntm will be like right there over there somewhere so hopefully that will happen soon i'm not sure when they're going to start it and i'm not sure how long it's going to take but fingers crossed that it will happen also part of this project is going to be another luxury hotel called the intercontinental hotel it's actually the same company that own the crown plaza which is just on the other side of the city center laos how many luxury hotels are you gonna build this is insane speaking of hotels that is development number five that we are gonna be talking about so we're in the Farang area, right by the Mekong River. Farang area means foreigners area and obviously this area is surrounded by hotels that are getting developed now as well. Yep, so you have Hilton Doubletree which is being built right in the center alongside Mintira Hotel which is a Chinese company. And you also have the Amari Hotel which is supposed to be being built but it looks pretty abandoned. I'm not sure what's happening there. Yeah, there is a lot of abandoned constructions here in Vientiane and I feel it's because of the global COVID situation. But one of the main reasons that they are building all of these hotels and complexes across Laos is I think mainly because of Chinese tourism and getting that into Laos, especially when the railway kicks off in December. I think there's going to be a big domestic as well as neighboring countries kind of tourism boom here in Laos. But with the shopping malls, I kind of think that they're building all of those because a lot of Lao people actually don't really shop in Laos. They all head over the, the river here just to go to Thailand and they do all their shopping there because I think products are cheaper. So I think they're trying to build all these shopping malls to keep the money in Laos and get people spending their money in their own country, which kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, they I know, should right? be doing that. So hopefully that will work, although most of these shopping malls are pretty empty still. Yes, and it'll take a little while to fill them up. Right now, uh, Parkinson's is like halfway full, although they are planning to open up a new Starbucks in Park, well, the first ever Starbucks in Laos. Yeah. So there is a little bit of westernization happening and a bit of development that we're about to see very soon in Laos capital city. There are so many more projects happening right now in Vientiane city, but we just cannot cover everything in one simple video. No, so if you would like to see a part two of this kind of video, please leave a comment below and we will consider doing that. Also, let us know what you think of the developments in this video. Do you think they're good, think they're bad? Let us know in the comments below as well and we'll carry on the discussion there. Anyways guys, we're gonna end this here and if you did enjoy this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button because it really helps us out. If you haven't yet, press subscribe to see more of our content and we'll see you next time.